All right, today we're going over some more common pro spots that you can use in some of these competitive maps while you're playing rank play. Today we're going to be going over Karachi Search and Destroy Defense. I'll show you some of these spots. I'll give you an idea of what it looks like in game and also explain to you how it plays out in some of these rounds. So let's get right into it. All right, so we'll start at the bottom side of the map. The first spot that you can use is right behind this little barrel over here. It's a really nice head glitch if you want to see anyone that might be playing towards this top three area or even looking towards Coop. You know, both of these these different lines of sight are really good for this specific barrel heady because it's so hard to actually kill someone off of this heady. It's just really difficult because you can barely see them. You literally just see the top of their head and they can basically shoot uh, whatever they want. Another deeper spot that you can play is at the top of the castle over here. There's a different angles that you can take, whether you want to be on the ledge over here at the back end of this pillar or use one of these uh, different angles over here. You can get a really good line of sight into front coop and you can really get any information for your team, especially if you're playing as like an island player over there you're the only one towards this site uh, you can basically use this as a safe spot if you are playing solo B like that you can make sure that you're just holding your lane for the rest of your team as they come on in for the retake of the site in case the offense does end up planning towards this B site so really safe position over here and a really nice way uh, to actually just look through the coop arch to make sure uh, that you have a good angle on them another nice spot is right here bottom cache you're basically watching that same coop entrance angle uh, but you can also escape the fountain in case you do, do get over run on the B side but, you know once again making sure that you have that tight angle for your team you know, a lot of times you will see it teamed up with this barrel spot over here so if you're playing two towards B which is kind of the default for a lot of teams you know pairing this up with the barrel spot so that you can see top AC and top third and also have this crossfire with anyone towards coop uh, is really really good and you also don't really need to worry about your mid cut too much because this guy at the barrel heady will get that information as well with the angle that he's able to see so you can combine you know these two angles with the barrel heady as a nice complimentary spot uh, to the barrel spot that we were talking about before. So definitely combine those two and you'll get a really nice setup towards this B site you can also do and this is getting a little bit more pushed up is to go top fountain here so you'd have to enter through uh, bottom cache and then go up the stairs to actually get this angle uh, but you want to make sure that you're you know getting through this top fountain area and you can catch anyone you know jumping up towards this top scaffolding of the coop area or anyone you know trying to go towards this b site as well so once again kind of the same angle just a little bit more pushed up forward and if you do want to activate towards the middle of the map towards you know top acs in case they do go towards the a side you can do that as as well but once again you know with all three of these spots you're kind of doing the same thing holding uh, this arch lane for your team uh, in case they try and go towards this B site uh, you'll see over here this is a really interesting angle where you can basically have all of mid cut and all of top ACs uh, for your team it's just a different angle if your team is playing super pushed up towards this B site you know a lot of times I only really see it if you do have you know three people towards this B site so you know a different angle that you can take but once again I would definitely just use this if you have a lot of numbers towards this B site and some other pushed up positions uh, there's one little spot right behind this barricade over here you just have to make sure that your foot is not you know sticking out from this mid cut area that's happened a lot of times in pro matches and people just got caught out for it so really make sure you're in deep onto this barricade to make sure that you're just you know playing like a rat in case they want to slide out to B site and start planning over here you'll get a free first blood in case they do so you know a really nice ratty position if you want to get pushed up and you do once again have numbers towards this site. Another aggressive position is either at the top or bottom scaff right pushed up over here towards this B site. It's a really ratty, you know, pushed up angle that you can use just to make sure that they're not coming out towards this B site. Whether you're playing at the bottom of the scaffolding, the top of the scaffolding, or even, you know, right outside the barricade as just a different angle right there, you're all doing the same thing with these angles, making sure that you have the coop entrance way, but just super pushed up, making sure that you're at least getting a kill. You're guaranteeing a kill for your team. You might get traded out if they, you know, double push it but once again I would only use this spot if you do have someone else playing at the top bridge over here and that's going to lead me to you know the next spot over here another pushed up spot you definitely want to make sure that you're using this with an AR if you're playing behind this tree over here at the top bridge this is a really really good aggressive angle for anyone that might be using an AR because what you can do here is you can get pushed up you have a really good angle to see top third to see top AC and the mid cut and also be able to watch anyone that might be jumping up towards this top scaffolding towards the 
coupe area. So making sure that you get pushed up over here is really important. It's really crucial if you're trying to make it towards this top bridge area or even trying to push up towards scaffolding over here to get a trophy down behind this car. You need a trophy in order to not be tacked out from anyone going towards this coupe area, trying to stun you, trying to nade you out so that you can't get pushed up towards one of these positions. So making sure that you have this trophy over here to deny any sort of tax and actually get pushed up yourselves will make it so that you can get up to this top bridge area or to this bottom scaff area safely. This guarantees that you can make it to these areas without having any timings completely screwed up because of any tax that might be thrown in by the offense. So what you'll see in pro matches is a lot of times when teams are playing this top bridge area, they also have someone working with them towards this you know top or bottom scaff area. So definitely combining those two, similar to how we were talking about uh, with one of these positions in the barrel spot, this is a you know complementary position to each other because you can make sure that you're working off a teammate holding these crosses together. Moving towards the middle of the map now, this is a really common area that you'll see teams play. You'll pretty much have one person every defense playing top plat over here, whether they're challenging it right away or whether they're delay challenging it, making sure that you know they're catching people that might be running up uh, this middle of the map off guard by not challenging it right away, taking that timing to their advantage. So making sure you have someone at this top middle area of the map is crucial because they can be flexible, whether it's going towards the A side or going towards the B side, especially towards the A side if you only are sending one person there, which a lot of teams do, they can have you know an overwatch over towards the A side uh, in case anyone towards this A side is playing you know super deep towards this diner area, they can you know have their help over there. Or if you see it's a B hit, you have the opportunity to you know hit down middle, uh, try and make a play there, or even go on a full pinch, or even just wrap around to your side that way. So you have all of these options if you're playing top mid. So that's why you see a lot in these pro matches. And what you can also do is get some really good angles into top fire as well. So if you do have someone pushed up playing towards this A side in top fire, you can kind of help them out over here, laying prone and, and kind of seeing through these little windows over here. So you can get some good angles uh, with that top plat area as well into top fire. Now some more safer positions towards the A site, you'll definitely see some people playing this back diner area. The Teddy is pretty decent, especially if you're holding this site alone, uh, because what you want to do is make sure that you're just playing safe, just getting information, trying to get at least one kill before the rest of your team starts rotating towards this A site. So really making sure you're watching the bottom pillars or the bottom lights or even top single over here. You can get some really good angles towards red over here. So making sure that you're playing safe over here is crucial and making sure you're just not dying, not getting first blooded. So that's why you see a lot of teams playing over here because they only send one guy A for the most part. Some other spots that you can use, you know, you can play inside the diner itself and use the counter as a heady as well. You can definitely get some more angles similar to what you were able to do back diner as well. If you open the doors, you can see into ticket, uh, but in case you don't want to open doors and actually give yourself up like that, uh, you can still get, you know, front of red over here. And this angle is also really good in case you want to also be looking short. So in case the enemy team is trying to do something mid and they get pushed up and they're trying to go mid to A, you can catch this angle pretty quickly compared to this back diner angle which you won't be able to see him as early uh, so I'm really making sure that you stay alive here and get that angle is crucial if you do want to be covering short for your team as well Another angle that you can use that might catch people off guard is right outside side diner over here. This is something you can use while prone and making sure that, you know, while they're coming out ticket or coming out towards the A site and trying to push and get that diner control, you can catch people off guard, especially if it's someone that's not planning. So if the offense sends someone to plant and also sends someone back alley to push out diner, you can get a free kill on this guy and also possibly get a two piece on the guy planning. So this is another ratty angle. You know, I initially put this as a blue angle, but I'll, I'll actually just put it as a yellow angle so it's kind of in between you know that aggressive versus you know non-aggressive position because technically you can back up into back alley or into diner over here you know some of these other green positions you can't really back up and escape to any position uh, after you know playing that initial spot so you know i'll put it as a you know mixture in between spot Another really aggressive angle if you want to play super ratty is right behind this barricade. You know, a lot of people don't expect you to be super close uh, to the left over here. So making sure that you're at least getting one, especially if the guy is planning right in front of you. You know, they're not really going to expect you to be laying down in a corner like this right behind this barricade. They're probably going to expect you to be playing more safe towards diners. So uh, if you do want to play, you know, a one and done spot and just guarantee one, uh, you can play that spot. But again, super, super aggressive. I'd only play it with a sub. Pretty aggressive spot towards 
towards this A side is gonna be in this ticket area over here. If you use this ticket heady, it's a really, really hard clear for anyone on the offense trying to clear ticket or clear P5. So even though they're gonna try and camera you, you're gonna have to jump on him because it's just a super, super good heady. And you won't be seeing it until higher elo where a player will actually be able to, you know, camera and outgun you from this heady because it's such a good one. So, you know, I put this as a green aggressive angle, but what you can really do is making sure that you have help from this guy top third. And what you can do is if you get some shots off, get some people weak in ticket or even get a kill and then you instantly back up towards this deeper corner over here, your overwatch player over towards this top third area can have your help for anyone that might be instantly trying to chow you over towards this A site after you've already chowed, gotten some people weak or even got a kill. So making sure once again, you're playing complementary positions. If you're playing towards the ticket area, making sure you have some help on the A site, especially, you know, top third area over here, it really benefits each other super well. Their push up position, if you want to take a different angle, you can go uh, low pillars over here. You can find some angles where you're basically just holding this lights area for any quick pushes by the enemy team. If you're playing with another teammate towards the site, let's say they're playing back alley, and you know, he can have your cross for you and you can kind of team shot in this area if they do go towards this A site. Or even if you're playing super aggressive with the teammate, you know, let's say they're playing in ticket over here and you start, you know, having some gunfights in this lights area, they can start activating towards ticket over here and maybe get a trade or even catch some people by surprise, killing them in their back because they were so focused on you towards the pillars over here. So you can definitely teamwork spots towards this A site, similar to how you were seeing towards the B site as well. So what you can also do is just having someone top fire over here in one of these angles, either in the deep corner over here, or even just playing on the stairs and watching their own short push or even their own top bed as well. You know, playing this heady over here on the stairs is a really nice solo position because what you can do to the escape is either dip out towards the bottom or dip out towards the top, you know, try and finesse, buy a little bit of time. And what you can do is, you know, take some routes where you're jumping out top single, trying to make a play there or jumping out towards their back bed and trying to make a play there. So you can really do a lot of things while you're top fire over here. And especially if you're playing solo towards that A site, that finesse and movement is gonna be really, really key for you uh, to be staying alive over there in case the offense does end up going towards that site. So the meta right now for pro play is a lot of teams are favoring towards this B site. So that's why you see more defenses playing, you know, one extra man towards the B site, kind of playing, you know, an island player towards this A site over here. But what you see teams do is if they get information that the enemy is trying to hit out through Coop over here, starting to plant towards B, these guys, you know, if you're playing one of these aggressive positions, what they're going to try and do is go for a full flank. So they're either going to go, you know, front P3, you know, and they might take a route all the way through the back P3 or even cut through middle, go top ACs like this, trying to take some different angles. All you have to do is be wary of people holding the pinch uh, from the top three area. So if you're trying to be super aggressive, taking this angle over here, you just have to be uh, aware of anyone watching the pinch like this. So making sure that you do stay alive on this pinch, but you know, if no one is watching it, you should be able to get a freebie somewhere on the pinch uh, and it could really help out your team, especially if the team on offense has planted or even hasn't planted yet, you're just creating a distraction for the rest of your guys coming towards the other side and you can try and you know buy a little bit of time or even direct their attention away uh, so that they have to focus on their coop rather than of these other guys playing towards uh, you know this fountain area of the map. So that's going to basically do it for all of the common spots that you see in pro play. You know obviously you'll see more aggressive routes whether you want to just instantly push through mid cut and push down mid or instantly go through short and push down mid like this. I didn't really count those as you know quote unquote spots because you're constantly pushing in the round. You're not really stopping at all. You'll definitely see teams and even rank play players trying to take those timings, especially if they're super aggressive players, just because they're trying to be super active on the map and they don't want to be held down to one spot. So really making sure you're accounting for that, especially if you're on the offensive team and have to counter something like that. Uh, just be ready for anyone that might be super aggressive trying to push down the middle of the map like that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys can start using some of these spots, especially since rank play just dropped. Have fun with these. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.